So today what we're going to go over is how to use your document camera with our interactive TV. I have a simple addition, you know, worksheet right here underneath the document camera. And the way it's connected, we have a VGA cable connected to the bottom of the TV right here. Okay. Uh, I will show a picture of what the VGA connection looks like underneath the TV just in case you have questions about that. And then you'll notice right here that we have the HDMI 1 and VGA in white, meaning that those two have uh, devices connected to them. I also have a laptop here that's connected to the HDMI that's plugged into the wall plate that's on the wall. You should have one really close to your TV or it might be next to your desk. But again, you'll have that connected with an HDMI cable. So I'm going to go into that VGA connection. If I click on it once, it's going to show me a preview of what is currently in that device. And it's coming along. Here we go. There it is. And if I click it at, you know, right in the center, then it goes into that device. So. We notice that uh, everybody's used to the document cameras and they're right, right underneath the document camera. But if you have that worksheet there, you don't have to write it because you have it on your TV over here. This is not just a projector, it's an interactive TV. So there's a few icons over here on the side. I'm gonna click on the first one. And when I do that, you'll have some tools that pop up on the bottom. So at this point, you know, on this assignment it says addition by grouping. Uh, so you're having to circle groups of 10. So I have a pen selected right there. You can choose the color that you want and the, I guess the, the depth or the width of the marker. So I'm gonna select the next one right here and I'm gonna go with the color blue. Click it again, it goes away. So you can model this for your students, okay? We will circle this area here and that's talking about 10. So there's only one group of 10, so I'll put a number one. And then we have, at this point, students can count out loud individual little cows are left over. This is a Minecraft worksheet. So four, five, six. There's six individual ones. So that is 16 total for number two. Then the, the TVs do come with two pens. On the other end, you have another pen that you can then provide to a student to come up and do the next one. So they can then come up here and do the circling. There's one set of 10, another set of 10. There's three sets of 10, so they will write a three. And there's one individual one left over, so that's their 31. I'm gonna put this pen back. And then once you've kind of worked out the problems here and you need to move the worksheet up, go ahead and just click on that same button again and you'll see that this image gets saved. At this point, I can now bring up the worksheet. If you do have your document camera a little far away from you, in this case it's right next to the TV so I can easily you know, reach it, but if it's a little further, have one of the students go and move up the worksheet for you, okay? And then again, press this button so you can get your uh, toolbar at the bottom and then you can work out the next problems here. I think you get the gist of this, okay? So you continue working on this worksheet and then we can save this as well. Now, let's say you have a video on your laptop that you want to go to next to kind of uh, supplement this information that you just covered. So I'm going to go to the home button on my TV and I'm going to go to HDMI 1. And let me go ahead and click on it and this is showing what is on my laptop currently. So this is a YouTube video. Your computer here is in a, also connected through the USB, meaning that this is now how you can control your computer. You don't have to be using your computer over here. You can stay here so you can keep on monitoring your students and you know keep on interacting with them. So I can play the video. It went back to my, just because the camera is, is refocusing, it kind of sensed that there was some activity going on there. So it went to that and I'm gonna go back to my HDMI one. Those are just little things you might you know, encounter. And then go ahead and play this video. There we go. How can you find out how many groups of 10 left? And you can put this in full size. Again, you're controlling your computer now from the television, not having to do it over there, okay? You can circle groups of 10s and then count the leftovers. 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop that. And again, once uh, if you notice this, this is kind of you can think about it like a huge tablet. So again, just control your computer, you know, through touch right here. Another tool that you do have available to you here is a whiteboard. And this is a pretty cool whiteboard. I did put in an image here earlier of a cell. So again, you can have students come up here and identify things on there. There's a few little other tools that are available here. You go to tools, you have rulers. You can bring in a ruler. Let me click that again so it can go away. You can move this ruler to wherever you want on here. You can actually, you know, change the size of the ruler so that you can put it next to, you know, uh, image and then they can kind of look at the measurements. You can turn this, uh, you know, ruler and then you can just get rid of it by taking the little X. Okay, so those are little tools that you have available on here. Now, another thing about this whiteboard is an endless whiteboard. Okay, so I can do a little, oh, let me go back to a pen. You know, you can maximize and you notice how the image went away over there. So I can now just kind of drag all that over there and then continue writing here. I like smiley faces. Okay, but let me cancel that. And you can continue writing and you never run out of space on this whiteboard. We notice what popped up there a little, a little while ago is that afterwards you do have the option to save your whole whiteboard as a PNG file, a JPEG, or a PDF. Okay, and once you do save them, let's see. Let me try it as a PDF. Let me hit export. You can save it to a USB in case you're, uh, it's supposed to display a QR code there. I don't think my internet connection is connected anymore. Uh, but you could then, you know, scan with the phone and you can then get that, you know, that whole uh, whiteboard onto your phone. Or here you can plug in a USB right in the front of your TV and then save this image to a USB. Okay, hopefully all these little tips regarding your interactive TV will help you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.